around 10,000 people have taken to the streets in Budapest in protest over what many see as a resurgence of neo-Nazi ideologies in government, just days after a far-right MP belonging to the ultra-nationalist Jobbik party accused Hungary's Jewish population of posing a national security risk and called for them to be registered on special lists. In a rare show of unity on Hungary's deeply divided political scene, civil rights groups and party leaders from across the spectrum came together for the rally, which was held outside the main parliament building. During the protests, organizers played scenes from a 1944 film about World War II, in which around 600,000 Jews and 30,000 Roma were killed by Hungarian fascists. Many demonstrators carried signs critical of the far-right opposition party Jobbik, which rose to power in 2010 by winning 44 out of 386 parliamentary seats, making it the third largest party in the country in terms of MPs. Many have accused the party of targeting Jewish and traveling Roma minorities in order to win votes and of inciting racist attacks with hate speech. Protesters are demanding government condemnation of the remarks and are urging action to be taken to suppress extremist and anti-Semitic voices. Analysts have warned that Jobbik may serve as a strong counterbalance to incumbent centrist party Fidesz and its left-wing opposition in the 2014 parliamentary election. Jobbik MP Martin Gyongyosi has apologized for his remarks but has refused to step down, insisting that he had referred to Israelis and not all Jewish people.